Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for April, March 21st, Tuesday. Let us pray. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 21. The three notes of the order. Humility, love, and joy are the three notes which mark the lives of tertiaries. When these characteristics are evident throughout the order, its work will be fruitful. Without them, all that it attempts will be in vain. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gifts of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. The Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God. For I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their hearts. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fail because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exalt you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Source of all justice and goodness, you hate deception and evil. Lead us in the paths of righteousness and keep us from falling into sin, that we may sing out our joy in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will see me. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. 
On that day you will know that I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. And if you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, Hear us, Lord of glory. that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter Gospel. And we pray today for all the churches of the Anglican Communion throughout the world. We pray also for all the churches of the Anglican Church of Canada, for the churches of the province of Rupert's Land, and of this Diocese of Brandon. And we pray for this parish of St. Matthew. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory, that he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love, praying for those that we as Christians are called to be subject to, our bishops and leaders. We pray for our Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. 
that he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. And we continue to hold up in prayer those who do indeed lack food, for whom food security is an issue, not just during this pandemic, but every day. We pray for those who are not working at this time, either because of the pandemic or simply because of a lack of work or a lack of skills or a lack of confidence or a lack of health. We also pray for those who have to work at this time, who have to put their health, their safety, and even their lives at risk for the sake of others. And we pray for those who are shut in and isolated, who are frustrated or scared, I hold up in prayer especially the young lady who is in the lobby of our building this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory, that by his power wars and famine may cease throughout all the earth. Praying today for the Sudan, Somalia, Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Turkey, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine and the United States. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory, that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak and the dying. We pray today, again, for those who are suffering from the effects of COVID-19, those afflicted by the disease, their families, their friends, the EMTs, the doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, those in our hospital or our nursing homes, and any that are awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, isolation, poverty, or homelessness. That they may be comforted and strengthened, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. And in our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the European province, for East Midlands and Yorkshire, and for Kimberley, Millicent, Centino, Michael, Jenny, Maria, Martin, John, Pamela, Lance, Juan, Mildred, Kathleen, Wally, David, Jackie, and Jones. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May the Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. 
Amen.